hello friends welcome back in this video i will tell you how to create a new how to insert a new plane in solidworks but before that let us define a plane what is plane uh, a plane is a, you can say a 2d sheet which is located in 3d environment like here in uh, solidworks environment on which you can draw your on which you can draw sketches so and by default there are three different planes in solidworks uh, front plane top plane and your right plane you can have a better look at this for them in, in this way so uh, and uh, what happens and at some point while designing your product you might want a new plane so in this video i will tell you how to get that new plane so to do that go to reference geometry click plane and if you're not seeing this option reference geometry in your solidworks then you can go here in this uh, search command box and then type reference geometry like this uh, it comes here and uh, and then when you will uh, click on it then these tools will automatically come and then you can use it so after cl i click on the page material and then plane uh, solvers will ask for the reference so i have to provide it reference so i will click my I will, a reference can be anything it can be a plane it can be a line it can be a point it can be anything so i will give my front plane as my reference plane so after i provided after i provided after i gave it reference so it works automatically inferred that i might want the plane which is parallel to the reference plane and it is located at some distance to it so i can increase or decrease the distance of the new plane from my from my reference plane i can flip it the direction and then again i can increase or decrease the distance i can increase the number of increase and decrease the number of planes which i want for example if i want five number of planes then i can click here if i want to decrease the number of planes then i can click it on the another button and all these planes are located at the same distance for example the distance between these two planes is the is same as the difference distance between these two planes and similarly between these two planes so now you have your new plane and now you can sketch it by clicking on the plane and then clicking on this button sketch uh, you can you can also insert a plane which is uh, uh, not parallel but perpendicular to the reference plane the way to do so is for example if i want a plane which is which is uh, uh, perpendicular to my front plane then how can i have that plane so to, the way to do so is go to your top plane click normal to go to sketch click sketch and go to line i will draw a line because i have to give solvox reference along with the plane in this case i have to give it reference that through which line will my new uh, plane pass so i go to reference geometry and click, click plane click on front plane and then in the second reference box i will click on the line which i have drawn so now you can see i i got a new plane here which is uh, which is perpendicular to the to my front plane and is and have the the line which i draw in it you can see the line here which is perfect boundary and i can change the angle with uh, which it makes with the with my plane for example if you want it to be perpendicular to your front plane then you can set it to 90 degree which is by default 90 degree which is by default there and you can increase or decrease or decrease the angle for example in this way and similarly you can flip the plane and you can have you can increase or decrease the number of planes which you want so one more thing, uh, what happens if you want a plane which is just located between these two planes that is which is equally distance from this plane as well as this plane for that you have to go on reference geometry click plane and then select both these planes this plane and this plane then Solvox so automatically infers that you might want a plane which is located at the mid at the middle of these both these planes 
click here and then you will be pain so that's enough I guess that's all you need to do our new plane so thank you don't forget to subscribe